Hi, I'm Dr. Chung. I'd like to demonstrate uh, a little bit of a different way to do the thyroid exam. I believe it's a better way. We're going to take our patient here. How most people are taught is that they are told to examine the thyroid from the back, and they are told to put their two fingers on what they think is a thyroid area, and then have the patient swallow, okay? And then you're supposed to kind of be able to tell what the thyroid is doing. What I have found is that uh, most medical students find that if you ask them if they have felt the thyroid gland and you, if they actually give an honest answer, majority of them are very uncertain whether they've even felt the thyroid gland. And probably if you asked attending physicians, they would probably, if they had an honest answer, would say 50% time they can't feel it. So I want to show you a different way. And the, what I believe is that the better way is to actually look at the thyroid gland. And what people don't realize is that at least 50% of the time or better, you can actually see the thyroid gland and, and get an idea of what's going on. So I'm going to demonstrate that a normal thyroid, this is a uh, person who I believe has a normal thyroid gland. Also in men, it's a little bit easier to demonstrate for the beginners. So. In men, you have what most people call the Adam's apple. That is actually the thyroid cartilage. This thyroid cartilage is about this big. And the top of it, if you, if you look really close, has almost a little notch. And I can actually feel a notch there. In women, it's much smaller, so the notch is not as obvious, but you can still feel it. And if, you wanna, if you're a very beginner at this, I would suggest you practice on men first because their thyroid uh, cartilage is nice and prominent. So this is the top of the thyroid cartilage and if you go down right there and many people if you look here, he doesn't have it that obvious, they have a tiny crease there. So right there is we call it the cricothyroid membrane. That's where you would stick a little emergency um, catheter if he was choking. And there are there's a couple of cartilages just below that on each side. That's a, a cartilage. Now the trick is that the thyroid gland is underneath and right now you can't see it and there's a little trick to this. If you take your thumb, this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle and if you just kind of move it to the side, is, sometimes I even do this, I bring the tissue up this way and then kind of bring it back. Now I, from my experience, I know that this is the gland but the way to prove to you is that nothing else moves unless it's a thyroid gland. Move, swallow. See that shallow go by? Right there. It went up and went down. One, one more time, try swallowing and you can see. See that? So now I know the thyroid gland is like so. The right side is maybe slightly larger than left on him. So that's it. The beauty of this way of doing it is now you know exactly where the thyroid gland is. What I can do now is, in his case, it's sitting above this area. Occasionally some people the thyroid gland is below and you don't know it. So in this case now I've identified the thyroid gland. I can actually just kind of press on it and it just feels like soft mush. It's really, I would not have been able to feel it from the back because it just feels like kind of soft mushy thing here. And that's actually quite often the normal exam. Only time you can actually feel the thyroid gland firm is if it's gotten a little firmer. So if they have a condition called Hashimoto's or some sort of chronic inflammation, the thyroid gland actually gets a little firmer, they're easier to actually feel. So it's much better to see it. Now if I do this again, even without him swallowing, I know that this is the gland. Okay, so now I can even just hold one side, just feel this, I don't feel any nodules, it feels kind of like a soft mushy substance here, and I can kind of push this side, I can feel this here. Okay, and I think his gland is about this big on this side, and this big, and about this big on, on the left, and it's about this wide and you can kind of see it right there, see? If you move the thyroid, if you kind of play with the tissue like this. There you go. As a woman, her thyroid cartilage is not prominent. You know, that's why they call an Adam's apple. You know, Eden, Eve didn't have an Adam's apple. So right here, there's that's the top of the cartilage, but if you put your finger on it, I can feel a small V, and then I go down, and right there uh, is her cricothyroid membrane. Now, 
I know for a fact then that her thyroid gland is going to be just below this kind of nodule, little nubbins here. So her thyroid gland is going to be here somewhere. So now if I do this, again, just use your fingers here, I can tell this is the gland there, but to prove it, let's hopefully she can swallow, swallow for me. See that? Goes up and down. That's that and that. Now, if I try to feel it, it's barely palpable because it's so soft. So if I try to do this typical kind of business of putting my finger and imagining, you you kind of have to almost imagine what you're feeling. You need to be able to see the gland. And the only time that it's difficult is if they're really heavy here, or there are some skinny people whose trachea kind of goes backward at an angle, and the thyroid gland is way in there. And so then, if we pretend that's her, you have to really kind of push these muscles way back and try to catch it, okay? In her case, I can feel the top of her thyroid cartilage way up here, okay? And if I go down, I can feel her cricothyroid uh, membrane up here. So the thyroid gland is almost, I mean, is always just below it. So we expect the thyroid gland to be somewhere here. What I want to point out is if you just kind of, the trick is to learn to move the, the strap muscles, the sternocleidomastoid muscles, away from the thyroid. So you go take the thumb, just kind of move it away, and it kind of puts the thyroid gland in relief. Now, can you try swallowing? See that thing moves? You see the shadow move down there? We're going to try that again. See that? Oh, there it is. Okay, so now that it's moved, I'm going to actually draw you a picture. On this side, the thyroid gland is right there, the bottom part and it's slightly higher here. It's the right lobe is a little bigger. Now, knowing that it's there, watch it move again. See that? Now, in my estimation, her thyroid gland is about one and a half times normal. But what I want to point out with this exam is if you know how to do it right, normal thyroids also will be visible. We haven't done a thyroid function test on her. She's, she's complaining of carpal tunnel and some cold intolerance. We'll find out if her blood work actually demonstrates this. The purpose of this video is just to show you how to examine a thyroid gland. This is a good example.